Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward, and you know this guy, Jake. I say the same thing every week, Jake. This is your weekly update. Make sure you post this on all of your platforms, Instagram, Twitter, MySpace. What else, Jake? All those platforms. YouTube. Napster. 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 Anyway, hey, uh, got a couple things coming up. Jake's going to talk about this Sunday. Uh, we got something kind of cool this Sunday happening, Jake? We're going to be displaying our service. Uh, it's service Sunday. You know, we're wrapping up our... We're still the church, vision, talked about groups last week. We're gonna be having some I'm in cards. We've done this in the past. Uh, you're gonna have, have an opportunity to see some, some of our ministry environments displayed in the hallway, and you're gonna have an opportunity to volunteer to find out you know, where you wanna serve. And on this I'm in card, there's, there's just about everything listed from our Kid Venture Kids, preschool, uh, worship, students, first impressions, a thing that we like to call Go Ministries, which is, hey, it has a lot of different why, things on there. Why do you have Wash My Truck on there? <laughs> oh, Edward, here's something else. So a couple things I wanna mention, um, things that we really need, uh, and you'll see this, uh, prep teams for our kid venture and preschool ministries, getting crafts ready during the week, that's huge. Uh, craft preps, uh, preparing and serving, meals for our students on Wednesday night. Yep. That's a big one. Um, maintenance stuff around the church, little things like changing light bulbs, getting on the lift and getting up there and you know changing out those high light bulbs or maybe painting, uh, things of that nature. And then um, we've got a lot of things that will be on display for you. So I'm excited. Uh, I, love, I love seeing how many people in our church volunteer and this is always a good Sunday. Did I see a golf caddy for Jake on there too? <laughs> that would be I, nice. That, I'm not walking any more golf courses, dude. <laughs> hey, you know, I served last night. Uh, Joe Fields and I went fishing last night, and uh, I served him by netting all the fish he caught because oh, wow. I didn't hardly catch any. It served and you right. so uh, I, I, I was serving Joe Fields all day yesterday as we were on the water. And I've always known out. Joe was a better fisherman than uh, you. So, than well, hey, it. I'm not going to deny that. The boy yeah. schooled me last night. So. Hey, and then you still have an opportunity to connect. Connect with me about finding a small group. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, we took the small group tables down. The only ones we left up uh, were the women facing cancer together. Uh, we left up the singles group. Uh, we left up the prayer and the grief support. And then we left up the, um, the connections. Like yeah. if you haven't been able to find a group, then you can connect with me. And so we'll still have that available and you can reach out to me as well. Hey, and speaking of service, thank you, Sunday after church, for all the everybody that pitched in to tear down that middle section and set up chairs. We'll do that again this week after church. And uh, that's such an encouragement to our students uh, to get them ready for Wednesday night. And so thank you, thank you, thank you. You're, you're a serving church and we're grateful for that. And we love you uh, for that. Also, Wednesday, September the 8th, is that right? September the 8th. Our kids ministry Wednesday night program is going to start. Uh, you need to check with Ashley's email that she sends out to all of our parents. And if you don't get that, you need to sign up for that. You can go to our website. You can reach out to Ashley at summitheightsfellowship.com. And you can um, get on that mailing list to find out what the rotation, younger kids mm -hmm. one week, older kids the next week. It's going to be an exciting thing. We're sending out flowers. To Flower, flyers, flyers <clears throat> to the school. So uh, we're, we're this is an outreach for our children's ministry and reaching these families in our community. Uh, so excited about that. Excited about what's happening in our church right now, uh, and, and we love you. Got anything else this morning? Uh, on, a, on a more somber note, um, we we're we're, um, we're still kind of a little bit in shock, uh, as you may or may not know. I think a lot of you guys on social media already know that. One of our elders, one of our shepherds, um, went home to be with the Lord last night. And, uh, and um, so we want you to, uh, we wanted you to know that, Paul Rogers. And uh, Paul now uh, was, uh, is in, in the presence of Christ. And Paul was a great servant, Servant Sunday, mm -hmm. um, served with us and served you so well. And so you'd be mm -hmm. praying for Woody Kay and uh, the family that, that they would, um, just be ministered to during this time and uh, for our church as a whole because I know a lot of you guys um, have reached out and you are um, mourning that but I want to say this and I was reading this morning you got something you well I just you're talking about we talked about yesterday or last week we talked about influence yeah we talked about and then you know you're gonna be talking about a, a life a life well lived when you talk about Paul and uh, I was up late last night receiving 
texts and Facebook messages from people um, from here, the Dallas area, Houston, yeah. Midland, Oklahoma, Colorado, Connecticut, Chicago, uh, out east in the in the um, Carolinas areas, as far west as um, uh, Ar the Arizona area. Um, just from people that uh, Oklahoma, I mentioned Oklahoma, people that Paul had impacted, people that love him. And then I got a text this morning from uh, a buddy uh, named Garland who knew Paul and uh, his brother Urban when they grew up, when they were growing up in West Texas. Mm -hmm. And it said, I'm reminded of my favorite line in The Last Samurai. The emperor says, tell me how he died. And then Nathan replies, I would rather tell you how he lived. Yeah. And so um, that's kind of what we've been processing up late last night. Just hundreds of people, <laughs> I mean, hundreds of yeah. people texting me and just want, really wanting to celebrate how Paul Rogers lived and, uh, you know, how he died is, I, I just don't even want to think about that. I want to focus on how he lived and the kind of man that he was, and I know you're gonna speak a little bit to that. Well, here's what I wanna encourage you with, and uh, we, we do celebrate, we'll, we'll have a celebration service at some point uh, when Woody Kay gets better, be praying for her, and uh, that's coming down the road. But I wanna say this to you, Paul wrote to us in the uh, first, first Thessalonians 4, we don't want you to be uninformed, brethren, about those who've fallen asleep, so that you will not grieve, uh, so that you will not grieve as do the rest who have no hope. It's, we're gonna grieve, but here's how we're gonna grieve differently than those who don't know Christ. Danielle and I were talking last night. There is absolutely no doubt whatsoever in my mind where Paul Rogers is. Mm -hmm. And so I grieve with hope. I miss my friend already. And um, I, I, I grieve with hope because one of these days, uh, listen, well, just listen to this. If we believe Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring him those who have fallen asleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord that we are alive, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will not precede those who have fallen asleep. So Paul's gonna beat us on that. Uh, for the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout. It's gonna be a cool day. Uh, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. And then we who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. And so comfort one another with these words that we grieve with hope. We don't grieve like those who have no hope because he's coming again. Paul's in the presence of Jesus. And so church, grieve, grieve well, but grieve with hope. We don't grieve like those who have no hope. So uh, we love you and uh, we're grieving with you. And if we can do anything for you, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, we can't wait to see you Sunday morning. You got anything else? Uh, I don't think so. We love you. 10 o'clock Sunday morning. See ya.